This is Jim, and my article is about the Republican Party and why it's a why it's a, going to swiftly be something in the past. Um, my resources online are Wikipedia and The Nation, which is the uh, oldest continuously operating news magazine in America. Uh, now, the Republican Party, according to Wikipedia was founded in the northern states in 1954 by anti-slavery activists, modernizers, ex-Whigs, and ex-Free Soilers. And later on in the article, it says the Republican Party first came to power in the elections of 1860 when it won control of both houses of Congress. And its candidate, Abraham Lincoln, was elected president. It oversaw the preservation of the preserving of the Union, the end of slavery, and the provision of equal rights to all men in the American Civil War and Reconstruction. <clears throat> and this article from The Nation, I'll just read a little bit of it. In June 25, 2013, the Supreme Court struck down the heart of the Voting Rights Act ruling that states with the longest histories of voter discrimination no longer had to seek approval from the federal government for changes in their government in their election procedures. A month after that decision, North Carolina, where 40 count counties had previously been subject to that requirement, passed the country's most sweeping voter restrictions. The state implemented an onerous photo ID requirement, cut a week of early voting, and eliminated same-day voter registration, out-of-precinct voting, and pre-registration for 16- and 17-year-olds. On July 29th of this year, that's 2016, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit invalidated these restrictions, saying that they, quote, target African Americans with almost surgical precision, close quotes. The court found that the state GOP, uh, remember that's the party of Lincoln, grand old party, had intentionally discriminated against people of color, and it called the elimination of voting on the Sunday before the election when black churches hold souls to the polls mobilization drives as close to a smoking gun as we are likely to see in modern times. <laughs> it was the first in a remarkable string of voting rights <clears throat> victories as federal courts in late July and early August ruled against the GOP's efforts to make it harder to vote in six different states. The, the decisions in North Carolina, Wisconsin, Texas, Michigan, Kansas, and North, Carolina, or North Dakota by Republican as well as Democratic appointed judges struck down laws that required strict voter ID, redu reduced early voting, and hindered voter registration. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the point. Uh, once upon a time, the Republican Party, with Abraham Lincoln, was all about letting people, all sorts of people, no matter the, what their color, have all of the same privileges in America. Whether you were white, brown, black, yellow, who gives a rat's ass? These days, the GOP party of Lincoln, who freed slaves, has become all about let's not let minorities vote. Uh, it seems to me, unless somebody can show me otherwise, that the evidence uh, supporting what I just said is incontrovertible. And then we have Donald Trump. Now, either Donald Trump is completely stupid, which I do not believe, or he doesn't want to be president. This, uh, every step he takes, every move he makes, everything he says, his lack of preparation, his inability to know anything about issues or anything important, uh, indicates to me he just thinks it's a game show and he's willing to take down the Republican Party while he participates in this game show. I don't know if his long-term goal is to, uh, if he thinks he'll have more celebrity and business opportunities by failing to become president of the United States. Maybe he's stupid. I don't know. Maybe. I just don't know. 
but the American people are not stupid. They are going to see all this evidence. They're seeing it now, and they're going to realize what the Republican Party now stands for. And the problem for the GOP, the party of Lincoln, is that there's not enough uneducated, white, hating assholes to put Donald Trump or any other uh, GOP person who follows the new GOP line into office. Uh, the GOP is going away. Some, some other conservative thing will replace it, of course, as it should. But the GOP, I believe, is done. One thing I like about Hillary Clinton, if you can average out her uh, flip-flops, is that she's kind of a Republican in a lot of her foreign policies. I used to be Republican. I was Libertarian. I was Anne, Anne Randite. I was all kinds of things. So I still have a lot of respect for the Republican point of view in some ways, but I don't hate black people or anybody. And I do believe in freedom of religion, and I think all citizens should have the right to vote easily. That is the uh, basis of a democracy. The nice thing about a democracy, however, nice for some things and maybe not for others, is that within a democracy, the uh, citizens uh, elect whoever they deserve. If America is so messed up now that we deserve somebody like Donald Trump uh, as our president, and I don't think we do, that's what we're going to get.